Congratulations in making it this far. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Root of All Evil. You granted certain individuals the power to enter the TVs. You created the Midnight Channel as well. And lastly, you started a rumor about the Midnight Channel to raise its public awareness. Is this correct? All, save one point. This Midnight Channel you speak of, it is indeed a device to draw hearts into this world. But it was always your individual wills that would determine what appeared on it. Humans ache to expose their suppressed sides, while the prying eyes around them are curious to see them lay bare. The want to show, and the want to see. I granted a window that catered to both. That is all. Everyone wished to know more about the people who became famous through the media. And the Midnight Channel was there to grant their wishes. Once the person they wanted to see entered the realm formed by human thought, they would appear even more clearly. I see. So that's how it worked. Are you saying all you did was give that initial spark to Senpai and the others, then watched things unfold? And the rumors spreading, things going wrong. We're to blame for all that's happened? People's curiosity was at fault? Everything was for your sake. To create the world mankind so wanted. Man struggles to understand one another. You can only truly know a finite number of people within your lifetime. But humans disregard this fact and try to know more people than is possible. Only by comparing yourself to others can you define yourselves. Thus, your ever-present anxiety. Your anxiety causes you to see only what you want to see and believe only what you wish to believe. As I said, your desire is for a world enshrouded in fog. I must agree that the vast majority of people are exactly as you say. But we don't intend to live that way. If we were fine with the world you're making, we'd never have come this far, damn it! We'll keep searching for truth and figuring out who we are as we go on with our lives. We all will. Together. That's right! No more butting into our business! We will continue to live in our world with everyone else. That's why. Yes. 
persona. Senpai, hang in there. Stepping into the realm of the gods. to defeat me.
is a crystal of power which you have nurtured through your journey. An orb that repels fabrications of all sorts, dispels lies, and shines upon the truth. Truth is a thing which only appears to those who have observed, considered, and made a choice. At the end of the path you chose lies the truth. Believe in it, and continue without faltering. for your demise. I'll end your lives here.
Persona!
that our battle must end this way. What are you doing? Get up. You are not someone allowed to fall here. You must know already. The true nature of bonds. What bonds give to you. Here, listen closely. What's the matter? Isn't it too early to give up? You taught me what a family truly is. I had my hands full just with Nanako when you came rolling in. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do. But then again, I can get back up as many times as I need to with you two with me. However painful it gets, I'll just grip my teeth. I'll get up as many times as I have to for you two. A father can be pretty stupid that way, huh? Don't go, partner. Everything inside me changed after I met you. I'm glad we met. I wouldn't have made it this far if I hadn't done it alongside you. You can't let it end this way, right? You can keep going. Right, partner? No! Don't leave me! I'm scared. I'm such a stubborn, two-faced coward. But you understood me. That's why I can become as strong as I need to be. Hey, can you hear me? Don't close your eyes yet. I'll give you our strength. You're our last hope. Please, get back up just once more. The senpai, how much longer are you gonna just lie there? I mean, like that senpai? Not the kind of guy who can let it drop like this. That ain't the senpai I look up to. Get back up. Just one more time. Let me protect you. Senpai, thanks. I'm glad I came to this town. When I think back on all the fun I had with you, Senpai, please stand up just one more time. We'll be your strength. Senpai, if you stay down, I won't forgive you. You gave me a reason for me to stay just as I am. For someone like you to leave me in the dark halfway like this. Please stand up. Just once more. Let's fight this together. Never fear. We're always together. What's the matter? Are you gonna let it all end here? Come on, you're not alone. Just like me and Co weren't. I won't let you do this alone. You gotta be choking. Don't you care that I won't be able to take another step forward if you disappear? I couldn't stick by someone who'd do that to me. Please don't give up, Senpai. I've had enough with losing the people most precious to me. I don't want to lose you too. Senpai, thank you for thinking. 
thinking of me when you're suffering. You're priceless to me. I could do anything for you, Senpai. What about you? Can you stand up again for someone? For me? I'm sorry I can't be there to support you in your hour of need. Life. It's filled with so many things that are dirty, grotesque, and painful. There's no way you can stand it alone. But no one is truly alone in this world. You know that, since you've protected those precious to you, right? Come on. People are waiting for you. Come on, my dear. It's too early yet for you to sleep. I know you must be a little tired, but there are still people waiting for you. Have you really done everything you can for those precious to you? Thanks, mister. To tell the truth, to be brave, to stand up again, to believe. You taught me all those things. You have to believe that you're not alone either, mister. Mister, actually, you're only a high school boy. You must have gone through so much pain. Yeah, it must have been so tough for you. But it's wonderful to be able to protect someone who matters to you. You showed me that joy. Man, you're so cruel. You make me take responsibility for my sins, but you're gonna let this bitch take you down like this? <laughs> That's hilarious. Get up. You're not like me, right? Sensei. I'll protect you, Sensei. You gave me my life. You're important to me. I'm not alone anymore. And neither are you, Sensei. I'm sure together we can do things that no one could do alone. pushes on. Please, grant everyone's wishes. Bring light to people's hearts. Please get up. Just once more. truth 
be. How could I be defeated? How am I the one to disappear? Instead of the endless struggle, wouldn't it be easier to wrap oneself in lies and live in blissful ignorance? Isn't that true peace for humans? How many times do we have to tell you? The hell with that shit! Stop assuming you know us! <laughs> Very well. Then try and live your way. Power enough to erase my existence. You have already exceeded what I thought humanity to be capable of. You have lifted the fog in this world, as well as the fog in your own. And whether that will lead to happiness or not, rests upon your shoulders. Children of man, well done. This is more like a beginning for us, though. Well, now we've got no regrets for tomorrow. Welcome back. Everything's finally over. You really are incredible. I'm no match for you. You just fought the other me that split from my personality. The two Sagiri, the other me, and the me that is speaking with you right now. They were all originally one within me. But there was nothing I could have done without my powers. If not for you... I would have disappeared along with the fog when the hollow forest vanished. Thank you so much. You saved everything. I'll be all right. The fragments you defeated have returned to me and will soon become one. My name is Izanami no Mikoto, the fertile will that protects those who live in this land and fulfills their wishes. I will not forget you. Please do not forget. I am always by your side. <laughs> How marvelous. You have driven back a godly being and brought about a new world. This will be the last time we summon you here. Soon, the fog will lift, and our destination will be visible. We will be arriving shortly. This journey was a fruitful one, worthy of marking a turning point in your destiny. Many a time along the way did the fog of lies prevent you from moving forth. Yet in every instance, you overcame the temptation of easy exits and false terminals. In forging bonds with those precious to you, you move closer to the truth, one step at a time. And my heart danced with delight to see you succeed. I am most honored to have borne witness to such a wondrous journey. Our destination is close at hand now. Well then, we have finally come to your journey's true end. Our contract has been fulfilled. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest. Now, go forth 
and see with your own eyes. See the world you have won, the bright, magnificent future. to look like this. So this is the world inside people's hearts. Yo, well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. No more senpai from t tomorrow on! <laughs> hey, quit crying. It's way too soon for that. But, but... <laughs> Sheesh. Um. That stuff's kind of contagious, you know? We gotta put on a good face for Senpai. Big bro? Mm -mm. I don't want you to go away! Nanako, didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? Building a case against Adachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. And Nanako's better now, too. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. Sensei, I finally found a place for me. That's why I'm going back over there. To make sure it never goes wrong again, I'm going to protect that world from now on. I can finally be proud and say that world is where I belong. Man, Senpai, this town's gonna feel empty without you. How cruel! Were you even listening? We can see you anytime we want, you dork. Like you'll be gone long. Soon as you start craving something like ice cream, you'll be back in a flash. Come on, my honeys. Laughing that way isn't very cute, you know. You're just gonna be going in and out of the TV at Juness. How's that different from what you've been doing? I can't quite decide what to do. At first, I only planned on staying here until the case was completely closed. Maybe I should stick to my original plan and take the train back with you, Senpai. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I couldn't do something like that. It's not as though we'll never see each other again. Feel free to call me anytime, even if there isn't a case to solve. 
I don't feel like saying goodbye either. Hey, you got any plans during the long holiday in May? If you're free, come over and visit. With no mysteries to solve, we can have some real fun. I'll make reservations now so that we can stay at my family's inn. Ooh, I can get my revenge for that night. Our surprise sneak attack will work for sure this time. Don't bring that up, you stupid bear. Hey, what happened to going back to that world? That has nothing to do with this. It's entirely different. That reminds me, she's not here. I would have thought that she would come today at least. Huh? What? Who are you talking about? Oh, you mean Marie-chan, right? Oh, yeah. I haven't seen her ever since... Is she doing okay? Pretty sure. So you haven't seen her either then? Well, as long as she's doing well, that's okay. But back to a serious note, she should have at least shown up here since this is the last time we'll see you. Better get on the train. Come back anytime you want. We can eat ramen again. Me and Daisuke will definitely come crash at your place someday. If anything happens, you can always come back here. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks for everything. Please take care. It's going to be lonely without you. Really lonely. But... We'll meet again soon, right? Well, see ya. Good luck over there, too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running! Until we meet again, Senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Well, be careful. I'll see you, big bro. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for everything! Stay well until we meet again someday! You'll always be my sensei forever! You better not run away too, senpai! I'll always remember our time together! Distance doesn't matter to us! Even if we're separated, we're still friends! <laughs> hey, See hey, you hey, again, hey, senpai! He's really gone. It's sad that he won't be around, but we will be okay, right guys? Doesn't matter how far apart we are. The bonds we've made will remain strong. Everyone's heart is connected to the people they know and trust. It's those bonds that let us all search for our purpose in life. As long as it's a purpose you believe in, there will always be someone who can help you fulfill it. You, me, and everyone else, there are no barriers. Our hearts are one. Right, Sensei? <laughs>